Over the years, much has been written about the endowments of prestigious US universities. One endowment in particular, the Yale Endowment run by David Swenson, has been hailed as a big success. The philosophy behind the so-called Yale model was summarised in Swenson's book, Pioneering Portfolio Management. The major characteristics of the Yale model are that it has um, a very uh, uh, equity orientated approach so it's looking for to invest in equity risk or equity light risks uh, and it is um, uh, it has a, a, a tilt towards what we call illiquid assets uh, so these would be um, things like uh, hedge funds or private equity and it has this at the same time this belief in a very active style of investing uh, and David Swenson, in fact, wrote a very good book uh, quite a few years ago now called Pioneering Portfolio Management, where he set out uh, in, in quite a lot of detail his investment beliefs and how the Yale Endowment uh, went about um, uh, fulfilling uh, those uh, beliefs in, in, in investing the portfolio. But just because the Yale model has a good track record, that doesn't mean investors should try to copy it. Indeed, Swenson said as much himself in a later book aimed at ordinary investors called Unconventional Success. His later book, um, Unconventional Success, was really uh, trying to tell ordinary investors don't just uh, pick up the Yale model and apply that to your uh, investment portfolio uh, because it, it's something that requires uh, an awful lot of resources and an awful lot of time in terms of sifting through investment opportunities, looking for the best managers and involves substantial amounts of risk and more importantly costs an awful lot of money therefore. As well as setting out what investors shouldn't do, unconventional success also recommends what they should do, advice that Swenson has repeated several times since. If you're an ordinary investor, you're much better off starting from the position of how do I get equity exposure so I can do that, for example, through, through passive funds or through ETFs and look to try and keep your costs as low as possible. Be very careful about investing in illiquid kinds of assets. Um, where you know, the amount of knowledge that is required to go investing in those areas is, is very, very substantial. In recent years, most of the big university endowments have failed to beat the market after costs. Consequently, universities and other institutions are increasingly using low-cost index funds. Unless you have very good reason to believe that you can outperform the likes of David Swenson, you should too. Thank you.